Hi everybody, Naoji Moyuchi of the Moyuchi Group at Compass. And this holiday season, we're highlighting some local charities that are having a big impact on our community here in South Jersey. We're calling it the Good Neighbors Holiday Edition. And it's our hope that you'll get out there and support some of these wonderful charities and help out where you can. And it's gonna go further than you think. We're kicking off this segment here at the Joseph's House of Camden. So let's go inside and meet Gina DeMarco, the development director. Gina, thanks for letting us come here. The Joseph's House does some amazing things here in Camden. Tell us a little bit about the mission and some of the services you offer your guests. Well, first of all, I'm so glad that you guys came today. Thank you so much. But we do so much here at Joseph's House. A lot of folks tend to think of a shelter as a cot and a sandwich, right? You come in, you get a place to sleep, and maybe you leave with a sandwich. So yes, we absolutely provide those things, but we do so much more. And what I love telling folks about is the real community mission of Joseph's House, where we seek to really address the underlying and systemic issues surrounding homelessness and poverty. And so we've welcomed a ton of community partners in here to really address those things and help folks truly transform their lives. So as you were giving us a tour, you were talking about a lot of your guests and what you offer your guests. And I know we talked a little bit about case management. So what does that mean? and? What does the Joseph House do? So that's a really good question, especially because case management can seem like a really unwieldy umbrella, yeah. right? And so for us here at Joseph's House, we have several specialized social workers who can specifically address issues of addiction, things as simple as getting a social security card or birth certificate, and even referring you out to other services that we may not necessarily provide here. And so we have a triage navigator who's able to create a plan saying, let's say you come to us and you're struggling with addiction. If you're struggling with addiction, on that case plan is very obviously going to be a stop at Maryville where you talk to our peer recovery specialist mm -hmm. who can really get to those underlying addiction issues. And then maybe also you need a few health appointments, whether you haven't seen a doctor in a while or you need to see a specialist. She can make sure that, okay, you need to do X, Y, and Z, and then keep you on target with that social worker, creating that plan that will help you see the most progress. What is one or a few of the things that makes it unique for Camden? So Joseph's House, as I said, is more than a cot and a sandwich, right? We offer so many amenities here because we really want our guests to feel as though they are home. So in addition to having a clothing closet, which you might find in other places, we also have a laundry so that you can actually do your clothing, take care of um, linens, things of that nature. And we also have a locker room, which is actually behind us. Um, and that was something that was asked for by our guests a few years ago during our renovation because they wanted some place to store their personal items. So where do you store your personal items when you're yeah. homeless, right? Yeah. Um, and so we created that space for them so every one of our guests now has a specialized locker that they can keep their personal belongings. And then if they would like, we also have a place in the front that takes care of things like birth certificates, social security cards, all of those important documents that you don't want getting lost. So, so when you were giving us a tour, you showed us the kitchen, we're in where actually they eat, one of the areas in which your guests eat. Um, but what are some other spaces you have here at the Joseph's House? So probably our two biggest ones that get the most use, we do have a computer lab, um, which was generously donated to us, that our guests are able to access things like internet, um, job applications, things of that nature. But the bigger one that everyone loves coming in to use is our conference room. It is a beautiful room that is fully functional in that you can take the tables apart yep. and move them around to configure better. Um, we also have a gorgeous TV and I guess telecommunication setup so that if our guests need to do telehealth visits, they're able to do so in private um, or if folks need to conference in with you know, social workers who aren't on site, they're able to do so with privacy. So as, as we're getting up into the holiday season, I know you need help all year yes. round, but what can people do to help? You know, time, money, what, what can people do right now? All of the things. <laughs> so we are always help, happy to welcome volunteers here who are willing to donate their time and their talent. So if, for example, you're somebody who's able to do beauty, hair, right? We would love to have you here to help cut our guests' hair, paint nails, things like that, especially to get a little more festive during the holiday season. But honestly, the number one thing that would help us at this point 
is a financial donation. So obviously we're also struggling, same as everybody else, with things like inflation, mm. um, just the cost of everything skyrocketing. Yeah. Um, and then donations are down as a result of that, um, which makes perfect sense. Right. Um, and so a financial donation would really make such a huge impact because it directly affects our bottom line. Can so they go we, to your website? Please do, okay. um, www.jhoc.org. That's for Joseph's House of Camden, Org. So please join us. We've got our annual appeal going on right now, and we would love to have your support. Gina, I want to thank you and the Joseph House and your entire team for all you do for the city of Camden and South Jersey. It's an amazing organization, and we just want to thank you. Thank you for letting us come visit your facilities. If you want to learn more about the Joseph House, go visit their website at jhoc.org and donate now. I'm Naoji Morici with Hi. Gina. DeMarco, <laughs> and um, I hope you take some time this holiday season and give back to your local community.